According to a new report from the Island Institute in Rock, Rockland, which uh, focuses on island sustainability and communities, Maine is the number one supplier of edible seaweed in the country. For kelp farmers like Tom Roth, this type of aquaculture is about more than it contributing to Maine's economy, it's about helping the planet too. Seaweed? Tom Roth traded fishing for farming. It's magical though. He's always finding new ways to use farmed and wild seaweed. People get excited when they see something that's that's good for them. His latest kelp-based product? A little squeeze. Sunscreen. I mean, it's all natural. There's no chemicals, there's no, there's no plastic involved. Mm -hmm. So we're really trying to be true to the environment. Roth also is one of the providers of edible sugar kelp in the state, the focus of a recent report from the Island Institute. It sheds new light on what the industry means for Maine. It claims nearly one million pounds of wet seaweed, both farmed and wild, is harvested off U.S. shores every year. Over half of that comes from Maine alone. Over the last five years, Maine's edible seaweed harvest has exploded, an increase of more than 2,000 percent. But what does that mean for Maine's economy? Well, in 2019, the industry contributed $13.4 million to the state's economy. By 2024, the farmed seaweed industry in Maine alone is predicted to boost harvests by nearly 300 percent. Roth says he saw the potential for this industry to grow 15 years ago, and that's why he switched careers. What convinced you that it would be so sustainable? The people that were involved in the industry started 40 years ago, and they're still in business. And now it appears more people are seeing gold in the green. Now, Tom Roth employs seven people full time and hires 40 self-employed harvesters to help when the kelp is pulled out of the water in the spring. He expects to hire more people in the near future as his business grows.